Thank you for joining me once again in another exciting tutorial of chemistry. This is your tutor, Mr. Moyana, the science guru. Come with me as we learn. So today we are looking at uh, extraction of zinc. So here are some of the O's of zinc that we can talk of. Calamine. The, this calamine, it is the uh, this calamine, it is the industrial name. The chemical name is zinc carbonate. So sometimes they are going to ask you to say what is the uh, what is the industrial name of uh, zinc carbonate? It's calamine. The zinc blend. This is the industrial name. The chemical name is zinc sulfate. Now, how is the extraction done, guys? First thing is this: the steps are the simple. Steps are this. One, zinc, we use this all, zinc sulfate, zinc sulfate is crushed. You have to crush it first, it's crushed to increase the surface area. Then number two, the, the crushed zinc sulfate, the crushed zinc sulfate is roasted in air. And the equation will be like this. So, once you roast uh, the zinc Sulfate. This is zinc sulfate. Solid plus air. Get it? Two. You are going to form zinc oxide solid plus sulfur dioxide gas. Just like that. Now, there are things that I want you to take note. Now, means the next step is this zinc oxide. It has to be reduced. So this this the zinc oxide step uh, two. We say zinc zinc oxide is reduced to zinc by the reducing agent carbon to zinc by reducing agent which is carbon. So when you react zinc oxide solid plus carbon, you're going to form zinc plus carbon. Now there are two things that is uh, uh, there are two things happening here. So this zinc oxide is losing the, losing the carbon. So this process it is called reduction. This carbon, it is uh, receiving. So this process is called oxidation. Or it's gaining. Sometimes I'll ask you name two processes involved uh, involved in the reduction of uh, in the reducing of zinc to its metal. So those are the things. Now this zinc prepared, guys. This zinc, it, you have prepared the zinc. Now this zinc, it has uses. So don't talk of the uses of zinc. So the zinc it has got several uses. So the uses of zinc to galvanize. I'll explain what this means. To to make to make alloys. So what are alloys? I'll explain like brass, the mix of copper, uh, the mixture of uh, zinc and copper, dry cells. Then Ways of preventing rusting. How do you prevent rusting? You know that this metals rust. Now there are three things needed for rusting to take to take place. You need air or oxygen. You need a moisture place, and you need steel. If these things are present in an environment, you're going to find that the rust will be formed. Now, how do you prevent rusting? Painting, galvanizing. To galvanize means to dip zinc into steel or to dip steel into zinc. Then electroplastin. Electroplastin, this is just a method used 
or this is another to galvanize an electron past it, just the, the same thing. Now, this process uses electricity, sacrificial protection, oiling, uh, uh, allo, uh, alloying. Now, an allo is just a, a, it's a, it's a, make, it's a mixture of two, of all two, one to two metals. Now, why do you allo? Sometimes, you know, when you, when you, when you make an allo of a metal, it becomes stronger than a metal. For example, we are talking about, about for example, you say brass, which is a mixture of uh, copper and, uh, and zinc. So, this is more stronger than zinc. Are we okay? Yeah. So this is more stronger than zinc. That's all. And you are done on extraction of metals. The other things that I want you to look at under this topic is this. Look at the extraction of copper, aluminium. Sometimes the examiners are going to examine you on these two processes, the extraction of copper and aluminium. Now, I want you to take note of this. The extraction of copper, the most important thing that I want you to know is this. The process used to extract copper, you don't use a reducing agent. You use electrolysis, okay? You use electrolysis. And I want you to take note of what, what happened on the anode of the equation of the, of, of the electrolyte and what happens on the cathode of the electrolyte and the electrolytes used in the process, those are the things that I want you to take note of. Thank you for watching. This has been your tutor, the SARS Guru.